Hey, hey lovelies, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I am the lovely Gina Lior and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you grew here, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for showing your girl some love. So today we are doing a Shein Accessories haul. Y'all know, I don't know if y'all know, but I know Shein Accessories be on point. So today we're doing a Shein Accessories haul. I have shoes, I have purses, I have jewelry. But y'all, Shein be hitting. And I think, I honestly think people don't really know how to um, shop on Shein because they'll be hearing girls like, oh no, I don't like Shein or I can't find nothing. But I think you really got to know what you are doing when you on Shein. You got to look at the reviews. You have to like look at the reviews, like read reviews, not just like a couple. No, you got to go to the good and the bad and the ugly, honey. That's how you use Shein. You got to know how to do it, baby, to get the good pieces. You got to look at pictures and the pictures that you look at in the reviews have to be like your body type or just like, you know, they styled it the way you may possibly style it or just, you know, you got to see something that makes sense. Somebody could post a picture and it's just a picture of the shoes. That don't mean you know what they look like. I like to look for pictures with people actually wearing the accessory or wearing the item that I want to buy. Reviews is a key. If it don't have reviews, don't buy it. I mean, like, who don't know that? If it don't have reviews on anything, anywhere, I would not buy it. Because, like, how do I know this is legit? How do I know that it actually is what it's saying in the picture? Like, I don't know. Reviews is a must. It's a must. And it has to have at least... I, for me, I, it needs to at least have like 30 reviews before I'm like, okay, I'm gonna buy it. And it has to be at least 30 reviews with more good reviews than bad reviews. Like if it had five bad reviews out of 30, all right, I'll buy it. Cause like they might be just complaining about something that, you know, it's personal to them. For me, the reviews is a must. It's a big muscle Shein. You cannot go on Shein just buying stuff thinking like, oh, okay, it's gonna look exactly like the picture. No, because the picture with the model on it can be like stolen from somebody else or it can be like the actual model but their body type is different than yours you cannot just go off of the the picture of the model at all at all sometimes the material is not the same sometimes the the colors are not the same you have to look at the reviews please 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 i beg you if you don't do anything else when you're shopping on shein look at the reviews so yeah, okay, enough of that, enough of that. I did not come on here to rant it to y'all. I did not come on here to tell y'all what y'all should and should not be doing on Shein. Well, yes, I did, because I think that that's a must before I share my little gems that I find on Shein, because that's how you find the gems. So if you are interested in this video, please continue watching. So let's just get right into the video. So I think I'm gonna start with shoes because I feel like I have more bags than shoes so i think i'm gonna start with the shoes first because it's not that much it's not gonna overwhelm me so for first up for these first pair of shoes it will be these um chunky heel like multi-color pumps y'all look at these look at these i seen a pair of these kind of shoes um on a website i think it was called akira or something like that yeah akira i think and y'all those shoes was like a hundred and something dollars i think then i saw another pair like on an instagram boutique and it was like three hundred dollars or four hundred dollars y'all i found these on shein y'all want to know how much i found these on shein for i think they was no more than fifty dollars but i really want to say they was like thirty dollars between 30 and 50 dollars not a hundred dollars but look at these shoes y'all look how pretty these is look at the details like it has pearls on there it has gems on there it has just so much detail it just has so much detail like the detail is stunning these shoes are stunning they're very tall very high they make me really tall but i love these shoes i wore these shoes with like some um 
oversized jeans and like a um, really cute top with like a, a red jacket. Oh my God, these was a hit. But you could also wear these to like a brunch date, a picnic date. You can wear this with a cute flowy dress with some jeans with, um, you can even wear these with a skirt. Like I would wear these with a really cute skirt. Come on, on vacation? Oh my God, I would wear these out to dinner on vacation. Yeah, these shoes are hitting for something, very much something. Like, just look at those. Those are stunning, stunning. Look at the heels. Like, get into the details. Those are stunning. So yes, these shoes are my favorite of the whole haul so far. These shoes are my favorite shoes I've ordered off Shein in general, like honestly. They are, and they are so comfortable. Like if you get your size, they are so comfortable. I got them in a size seven um, and that's my usual size and they are so comfortable. So yes, I do recommend these. On to the next. So for these next pair of shoes, it will be these beautiful, these stunning silver, silver shoes with this little like, I wanna say that is like, um, like rhinestones, but it's like half a rhinestone. And they're kind of like, like messy, like put on very like messy like, but not like messy, like like messed up messy, but messy in a sense of like artistic messy, like beautiful messy. Like they're like just like glued on there and they're like, it's very good quality. Like they're not, to me, they're not coming off. And I actually love these heels because the heel is very short. And I'm into, I don't know about y'all, but right now, I'm into like a really cute, short, like kitten heel. Because I love wearing heels. But y'all, my feet be hurting. Uh, my feet be hurting. So if I could find me a really cute, short heel, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's, that's what I'm going to do. But these heels, I will wear these with some jeans, a really, really beautiful shirt. Or I would even wear these with like a cute dress, like a red dress with like a silver little dainty clutch going like out to dinner at night somewhere. Oh, yes, definitely, definitely. And these are um, in a size seven or size 39, not a size seven. These are in a size 39 and um, they're silver. They come in different colors. I believe I've seen them in black and gold also. I'm not sure. I will try to link all these um, these pieces below for you guys because, like, y'all gonna have to go try these. Y'all gonna have to go find these pieces. But these are very cute. They are a pointed toe, which I'm I'm actually in love with pointed toe heels right now. The heel is like this, um, like oblong looking, like awkward shape. It's not just like a small like heel. It's like a you know, like a, a, a thicker heel, so it's more comfortable walking in. But these shoes are definitely comfortable, and these are also one of my favorites from Shein. So for these next shoes, they will be these really pretty this baby doll pink color. Um, they are like these clear, um, again, kitten heels with um, these really cute pearls and rhinestone accent bows on the front. I love these, they were so comfortable. I wore these to a picnic. I went to a picnic um, in West Palm Beach, um, the Black Lux picnic. And y'all, these shoes were so freaking comfortable. And it went so well with my dress. I'll try to insert a picture so you guys can see. Oh my God, it was such a pretty shoe to go with the dress that I had. It was perfect. Like I was looking for the perfect heel and I found these. Um, these again are a pointy heel and these are in the size 38. These shoes are so comfortable. I'm telling y'all, kitten heels are in. I will also wear these with some jeans and like a white, like a shirt like this with some blue jeans. I think that would be a cute little hit with like a cute little pink purse and like some gold, you know, accessories or something like that. But I would definitely wear these to like brunch or like, um, you know, like a women's event 
or even to like a business um, event with like a cute like cream business suit or like a, some casual khakis. I mean, I'm sorry, not khakis, some casual um, slacks. These would go so well with that. So yeah, on to the next shoes. So for the next shoes, they are these really, really cute. Oh my God, these are so cute. I forgot how cute these were. These really cute chocolate brown, like clear um, stilettos. And y'all look at the orange in the heel. That is so freaking cute. And then the heel is like squared at the bottom. So it's like more comfortable to wear. Um, these shoes are actually very high. Um, they're comfortable for me to wear, but they are really high. Um, I forgot what inch heel this is, but they, they very high. And also when wearing these, make sure you get your size because if not this piece, this piece right here, I had got a size smaller before and this piece was literally like cutting into my foot. It was like hurting so bad because it's like this thick, like, like plastic, but Ooh, it was hurting so bad. But I will wear these with a cute skirt, a cute chocolate brown skirt, or a cute little dress. Oh, I would even wear these with some jeans to like brunch or to like um, a date, like a date night, or even like a girl's day out. Yes, with a cute little suit. Say if you had like a brown two-piece like suit, like a monochromatic look, these will go so well. Oh yes, that will go so well with a monochromatic look. I will recommend these. So on to the next shoe. Okay, so for the next shoes, it would be these really pretty like rose gold um, stilettos. They have the same squared off heel as the last shoes I showed you guys. Um, and these shoes are actually really, really cute. They was my favorite shoes um, maybe a year ago because I think I got these like a year ago. But y'all, this piece right here, it hurts the heck out of the middle of my toe. And I tried to get them in a bigger size because I was like, maybe they too tight. Those ones were too big. Like this was too big around it. So I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know if, if it's just, this is too much material or what, but that hurt. After 20 minutes, baby, I'm screaming. I want to take them off, take them off, take them off, take them off. But they're so cute. And I love the like square toe to them. They're so freaking cute. I wore these actually with some really cute blue jeans, like, like some light colored blue jeans. And I just love wearing heels with like um, oversized jeans with like the boot cut and they just like cover half of the heel, but still like can see, you know, the side of the heel and the, um, the side of the shoe and then the heel. Oh, I love that look so, 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 so much. But I would definitely wear these on a date night. I might try to get these in a size 38 and then I'll let y'all know um, how they actually feel once I get that size, maybe in the next accessory haul or something. So yep, on to the next shoe. So for these next, next, next shoes, they will have to be these beautiful pink boots. Like, look at how cute these boots are. I have never wore these boots. They are also in a size 38, of course, but I never wore these boots because I just didn't haven't had, you know, anything to really wear with them yet. But I actually like love these boots. I love this like hooded look. Because I have some black, I think y'all, the girlies know the um, the Macy's, TikTok viral Macy's boots. Yes, the ice boots. I mean, the ink boots, as they call it, INC or something like that. But yeah, these just remind me of those, but in pink. And I had got these boots to wear with like um, a skirt and like this really pretty um, she and blazer that I have but I never got the chance to wear them. I never got the chance to wear the blazer, nor did I get the chance to wear the um, boots because the skirt that I bought didn't go well with them. So I was gonna just wear some jeans, but I just never got around to them. So y'all will be seeing me in these boots in the fall. But I like that they have this zipper um, down the side so they can like easily come off because y'all know trying to pull some damn, some dang on boots off be a hassle we be struggling i be struggling trying to get some boots off without no zipper on the side so i love this zipper on the side and i love that they not like 
um, knee high. I love that they are calf high because um, I have knee high boots and I love knee high boots, but I wanted something different. I wanted to try something different and that's why I got these boots. So the last pair of shoes, which are like just some slides, are these really pretty um, colored full slides. They have this like gold hard, well, hardware like detailing here, but also have these like really pretty colored rhinestones and that's why I got these because I actually think that these are beautiful shoes for like a vacation because of the rhinestones they just like look so pretty like I'm going on vacation to Jamaica um, in July or June so I have been picking up a few pieces here and there just to um, go with the things for my trip just to go with my trip um, I have been picking up a few pieces for the trip along the way. So these definitely will be a piece that I take on my Jamaica trip. But these are cute. Aren't they so cute for like a, a vacation? Like look how pretty those details are. And they're so comfortable. They are so comfortable. I would wear these with like a bathing suit and a cute little cover up. Just like lounging on the beach or even just like, you know, on a chill day with like a flowy pretty dress or something like that. So yeah, these are the last pair of shoes that I have and on to the next accessory. So for the first bag, I have this really, really beautiful metallic gold purse. Y'all, I honestly, I thought this purse was bigger than this. <laughs> I thought this purse was gonna be bigger than this. But I guess, I guess not. I guess she ain't be playing us on the sizes. We be thinking we getting one thing and we're getting another, but whatever. The purse is still really cute. It has like a magnetic snap in the front to close and open it. And it also has this really pretty um, handheld strap that goes on the side. I would actually wear it with this, this strap because it comes with two straps. But I would probably wear it with this strap. Hold on, let me put the strap on. Yeah, I will wear it like that. That is so cute. Okay, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. It is small, but it's not that bad. I don't think I could fit no phone or nothing in here. But like my cards, some money, lip gloss, um, a little bit of change, a couple of dollars. But that's it, girl. Because that bag is small on the inside. That bag is small. Very small. But it also comes with a crossbody strap, which... I wouldn't wear it because I don't wear crossbodies like that. Not so much. I do like to wear crossbodies, but not that much. Not so much. But this is how I will be wearing it. That's so cute. Yes, that is cute. So I told y'all that I'm going on vacation. So I did pick up a few vacation things. So I picked up this really cute straw bag um, from Shein. And it is like the perfect size. Like it's not too big and it's not too small. It's actually like very roomy inside. It has pockets. It says she in inside. And the handles are very sturdy. Like those handles not going nowhere. The bag is sturdy. It's good quality. I love a good beach bag. I love a good wicker um, straw beach bag because these are like a must have on vacation. A must have. You could throw your slides in here. You could throw your camera in here. You could throw some snacks. Um, change your clothes, anything. Like you're going to the beach, you know, your little towel, anything. This is such a cute bag and I am loving it. So on the inside, it has a zipper where you can zip it closed for not so easy access. Nobody be going in your purse touching your stuff, okay? So yeah, I love this bag. So I will be taking this with me to Jamaica in June. For the next bag, it will be this really, really beautiful gold and rhinestone um like really pretty elegant purse elegant bag elegant clutch because you can take the the strap off and wear it as a clutch also but look how beautiful the rhinestones is see me i love an extra piece i love an extra exotic piece to go with like such a really like toned down look you bring out a piece like this and you are doing something. Like this purse could go so well with these slides. Maybe, possibly. 
It also might could go really cute with these. Maybe. No, never mind. No. No, this, this purse just needs to go with something simple because the purse is the show. The purse is the show. It needs to just go with something simple. So yes, I love this bag. It is so beautiful. It's a little spacious inside. I could probably fit a phone and stuff inside my wallet and cards and stuff. So it's not too small. Like, um, you know, it's not too small. It also comes with this gold strap, a crossbody strap to wear like on your arm. It's such like a dainty little like elegant bag. Um, this will go really well with like a date night dinner or something like that. It's like one of those like elegant moment type of bags. Um, this is what the back look like. Um, and this is what the front look like. The front is full of rhinestones. The back is just a little bit, you know, more on the like glittery plain side, but it's still really, really pretty. Um, I love all the colored details and the rhinestones. I love that it's different colors because you could pop this bag out with anything. Like say if you wear a red dress, um, like a red satin dress or something. Red, that will go so, so, so great with this. This is such a beautiful bag, but let's move on to the next bag. The next bag is this really beautiful, another gemmed, like elegant rhinestone type of piece. This piece is gorgeous. And I think they have had this in other colors, but I got this blue one to go with this look that I was wearing for a holiday party. I have blue shoes, this blue bag, and a white satin dress. Oh my God, y'all. This bag was a hit. Like, look how pretty that bag is. Like, look at the stones. Look at the gems on it. And they are like dangly stones. None of the stones on this bag has fallen off yet. None. And you know, like, you lose gems and stones and gems on, like, cheap stuff, cheaply made stuff, like, quick. I had this bag for about a year or so, and, like, the gems are still there. So it comes with this removable. You can remove the handle. It comes with this um, little handle to um, hold it in your hand, or you can use it as just like a clutch. Um, I don't think it comes, no, it doesn't come with um, a crossbody chain, but this is what it looks like inside. You can fit your phone and like some cards and some gum or something in there, but that's about it. But this is another one of those like elegant moment type of bags. Like you don't wear this everywhere. This is an elegant moment. You pull this out when it's time type of bag. Date night, event, that type of bag. But on to the next bag. So I found this bag and I actually fell in love with it. So I got it in two colors. I don't know what I was thinking. You know girl math. You like it in one color, you get it in all the colors. So that's what I did. So um this bag you have to um you have to know how to style this bag when you get a bag like this this bag is for um the girls okay the girls of the girls so this bag is so cute i love the gold hardware and details i love that it's like you know have this really pretty texture on it and then it's also having like this leather texture to it you can use this um as a handheld or also as a crossbody, which again, I probably wouldn't use the crossbody, but it also has different compartments inside. So it's very roomy. My bad, y'all. One thing about the Sony ZV-1, baby, it's going to die, okay? It's going to die. And I didn't even realize it was dying. It is gonna die. I don't know, I think the battery was just getting hot or something, but the thing just shut up. So we back though, we back. But also my light dies, so the might, light might look different. But I think I like it. I think I like the light better like this anyway. So, but yeah, we was talking about this beautiful bag here, and um, it has compartments on the inside and pockets on the inside. The um, crossbody strap um, that I probably wouldn't wear. But y'all, yeah, this bag is so freaking gorgeous. This is giving very much like winter bag like cold outside bag like i will wear this with a really pretty big coat like a long trench kind of coat um yeah with some cute black boots or something like that this is one of them this is one of those like pop of color bags like i will wear all black 
with this as the pop of color. That's for sure, definitely. So for the next bag, it will be, remember I said I got that last bag in a different color. Here's the different color. This green is so pretty. Like, I like the green better than the blue. Y'all tell me which one y'all like. I like the green better than the blue. Like, look how pretty that is. With this suede and that leather, these gold details, like these are very much winter bags. I don't need to show y'all the inside because it looks just like the other, the inside of the other bag. But y'all, these are such a cute little statement piece of a bag. The bag is actually bigger than I thought it was gonna be and I'm actually glad for that because y'all know Shein will give you a tiny bag. They're gonna give you a tiny bag. You, you, you gotta read the reviews because they're gonna give you a tiny bag regardless if you want to or not. But yes, this bag is so cute. It's just like the blue one. It's just green. So on to the next bag. So for the next bag, it would be this really, really pretty different bag. So this bag, y'all, is my favorite bag. This is my favorite bag because just look how different it is. It look at the look at the design, look at the texture. It looks like a wicker bag, like a straw bag or like a woven bag. But y'all, it's actually like um, a plastic or like a rubber bag. But like, look at the details on the bag. Look at the texture. Look at the print. It is so cute. And then the handle is like sideways, not like across that way. It's like this way. So you carry it like this, which is so freaking cute to me. I mean, you can carry it like that. Don't get me wrong, but like this is such a cute little bag to me. And it looks little, but y'all, it is spacious inside. Like you can fit a lot of stuff in there. Like a lot of stuff. This is such a good bag. Um, I think yeah, I came with a gold um crossbody strap, but I don't know what I did with the strap. So like these little gold little handles just gonna be there because I'm gonna wear the bag. I'm gonna wear the bag. But yes, this one is my favorite bag. I wore this on vacation once and I loved it. This is definitely giving very much luxury vacation bag. This is definitely giving quality vacation bag. I will wear this bag out to like dinner in Tulum or um, on the beach in Tulum with like a really cute bathing suit on and some cute little slides with some um, gold um, details to it, like a black, some black slides with gold details. Yes, this is that bag, honey. This is that bag. You have to, have to, have to, must go find this bag on Shein. So this is my last bag. And y'all, I actually really, really love this bag. It's so small, but so cute. Like, look at this bag. This is such a cute little bag. And this is giving very much vacation bag, right? Like how cute is this little vacation bag? And this bag fits a nice amount of stuff in it too. It's not too small on the inside. It is really not. Like your phone could fit in there, your cards, some gum, you know, a pen. A nice amount of stuff can fit in this little bag. This little bag. She ain't gonna give you a little bag. They are, they're gonna give you a little bag. But this one is a really cute little bag. And it is functional. It's a functional little bag. Some of their bags don't even be functional. But um, yes, I love this bag. On the beach, what? With a cute flowy cover up or kimono or with a cute flowy dress. Vacation, I'm ready. I'm ready. Obviously, look, I'm, it looks like I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready for vacation. That's me, y'all. I got this really gigantic beach hat. Like, look how big it is. You, you can't even see me. You can't even see me over the hat. Like, look how big it is. This hat is gorgeous. Gorgeous. A beach day. Uh, uh, the content with this hat, the pictures, baby. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous hat. Like, come on. You see your girl? Come on. What? Come on. Like, the hat speaks for itself, honey. It speaks for itself, honey. 
with a cute bathing suit. Oh my God, this hat. This hat will do some justice. What? Well, it's like, look at your girl. Come on. You can't. You can't tell me I ain't ready for vacation. <laughs> you can't tell me I'm not ready for vacation, okay? I am Red Sea. But y'all, this hat is very, very big, but it is stunning. Like, it is stunning. Y'all already know where we're wearing this hat. Y'all already know. Y'all can y'all could come up with the with with where we wearing the hat. How we wearing the hat. You can you can already see it. You can already see it. So yes, this is my only hat. That I have. I don't wear a lot of hats. I mean, I wear like baseball cap, but I don't wear like a lot of like beach hats. So that's my only hat. First up for the jewelry pieces would be these beautiful lemon earrings. Look how cute those are. Y'all, I wore these to the picnic I told y'all about, the Black Lux picnic with these shoes and the pink dress. Oh my God, because our theme was pink lemonade. Y'all, it was a hit. Those were a hit. Look at the details on those earrings. Like, the rhinestones are so cute. The green leaf. Like, come on, lemons. Come on, lemons. Come on, lemons. Come on, Shein. Like, look how cute those are. But those are some of my favorite pair of earrings. Like, I've had them for a little while and they have not turned from the gold that it is because they're actually gold in the back. They have not turned yet. So those are a really good piece. If you like have, um, you know, having a picnic or you like going out somewhere for the summertime or for the springtime and you just want some fun, cute little earrings, those will be the perfect little cute earrings to go with. All right, on to the next earrings. So it will be these really pretty gold oblong abstract abstract shape earrings. Look how pretty those are. These are some really good quality earrings, like good quality, really good quality. The color haven't changed yet. And they, they, they like a statement piece, like they're a statement. I love gold, big, like, like chunky gold or like gold statement piece earrings. These are cute. Like those are cute. Those are really cute. Um, the quality are good. They're not too heavy. So they don't feel like they'll like, you know, tug at your ears too much or like hurt your ears. Neither does the lemons. They don't feel too heavy either. They, 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 all the earrings that I've got so far feel, you know, they don't feel like they'll hurt your ears or drag like your earlobes down. But those are a really cute piece, like really, really good piece. Next earrings would be these really pretty heart shape. They, they remind me of like a heart and a sun. Like around the heart, it looks like it's bursting with sun like sun rays, but they are really cute. Like the, the shape of them, the idea of them, like they're so pretty. They're like really cute. And they're these really cute gold um, earrings. At the top, it looks like a seashell. And again, I love gold earrings. These are really cute for like a date night out or like a vacation. These are a really great piece to have. So definitely go grab those. And last but not least will be these really pretty gold pieces these gold earrings i love the texture in the earrings i love texture gold earrings um big gold earrings chunky gold earrings so these are they fit right in with all the rest of the earrings and jewelry pieces that i have these are another favorite piece that i will wear like on a date night or like on the beach these are like vacation earrings for sure though like if you look at them they're giving very much vacation like I will wear those out to dinner, like with a pretty flowy dress or a cute, like tight fitted, like dress, perfect. 
So yes, that was the end of the Shein accessories haul. Let me know in the comments if you liked anything in this haul and what did you like, what didn't you like, what was your favorite pieces, what was your least favorite pieces. Just let me know it all. We could chat it up in the comments about everything. And yes, I am so excited to be back on YouTube and doing my hauls. There will be more hauls to come. There will be more vlogs to come, more videos to come. So please, please, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to come back to show your girls some love. And don't forget to just show up. Show up for me. Show up with me. Show up for me. Because I'm going to show up with you. And I'm going to show up for myself. I'm going to just be here so y'all should be here too. But thank you so much for coming back and showing your girls some love. Until next time. See you lovelies. Bye.